Hi, I'm Iman. Welcome back to one of my gardening videos. Five years ago, I showed you how to make these three tiered garden beds for very cheap. We actually made them for less than $10, which I'll get to later. And this was good because this was my dad's original idea and we made it out of very cheap wood. However, you can actually find uh, these three tiered garden beds uh, online or uh, other stores. And they're really expensive. For example, like Wayfair, Etsy, Amazon, Walmart, you can buy them for like $150 or even $200 in extreme cases. You know, $150 sounds like a lot and I mean there are some reasons for that. For example, the online versions use cedar which is a lightweight rot resistant wood as opposed to what we have here which is, um, I think this is pine fence picket wood. Uh, there are some in the back over there. Very dull, very cheap, $150 per plank. Uh, but this is very cheap. So. And plus, this design here, you can actually make it yourself. And like I said before, you can make it for less than $10. So we'll show some clips from that video, um, either now or later, depending on how we edit it. Since my dad wants to build something new, and as he always wants to build, come over here. It's kind of hard to use screw on grass. But he built this kind of modular garden box that he will build many of to connect them. You can see here that it's modular. Let me just snap that way in place. But this design is fairly cheap, I mean, in, in, depending on the wood. So $150 seems hugely asinine. And this design is actually pretty good. Um, and we've used it for a few years. Uh, we actually used it for five since I think I did that video in 2015. But there were a few problems with it. Actually, there was one main problem. Let me get my hose here. This design actually worked pretty well for a few months, but we soon noticed that it was a bit ineffective because the way that this is designed, actually, the way that this is designed, these half planks here, they're at level with the soil. And what happens is when you water it, the water actually seeps down under the, uh, these, these half planks and basically the top loses most of its water. Not only that, but the top loses most of its dirt also. You can see right here especially what it looks like. And this is amplified by, if, especially if you're using poor wood, this is amplified by the effects of rot. As you can see here, rot on the underside of the plank has caused more dirt to uh, seep out. No matter what wood you use, what company you buy it from, it doesn't matter because it's a bad design. And that's why we're making this video, in order to make amends for the three-tier garden bed that we made three years ago. I mean, five years ago. And hopefully, we're not too late. First off, this video isn't going to be a full how-to. I'm not going to show you step-by-step, step because the, the, actually, the first video that we did was pretty good. However, we are making revisions on this design. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you what we did. So the first thing you want to notice is that this is half planks and in order to solve our problem what we want to do is we want to get some of the wood below surface level. In order to do this, you might be you might have already seen it. We're going to cut out part of what part of some wood and then basically this is what we've done here. We've cut out part of the wood so that we can insert it into the place where our previous half plank was. When you do this, make sure you don't use, um, <laughs> to be at, admittedly, pretty bad wood uh, for these mid sections right here. You want to use, you want to use something like this. This is thick wood, and it's pressure treated. You don't want to use something. Uh, by the way, this these planks are about six dollars. They used to be around four something, but because of the pandemic, they've gone up like a dollar. It's crazy, right? Wood is pretty expensive. So obviously, this design is not going to be less than $10 anymore. Anyway. Just keep that in mind. Uh, also, keep in mind that you don't want to use something like a uh, fence picket wood like we did. Uh, because as you can see here, it says it's not intended for ground contact. I mean, you can obviously stain it like, like we've done on these trellises over here. But that's too much work. We might as well just get these pressure treated thick uh, pieces of wood here. All right, so let's run a, a, a few logistics here. By the way, this is some this is pine wood, and the dimensions are it's one and a quarter inch thick, and it's eight feet long. So 
in order to make one of these garden boxes, keeping in mind that you're using this wood, it only takes you about 3.5 planks. And for one garden box, that's around $25. So if you want to use, uh, if you don't want to use half a plank and you make two boxes, that's going to cost you $50 and seven planks. All right, so let's move over to the other side because my dad has actually already, ha already done this change. And by the way, uh, when, you, when you look at a uh, wood from a store, they have certain dimensions on them, like one inch and a quarter by, by six. But it's actually, they're actually approximate dimensions. And the actual dimensions you'll find of the wood is that they're a bit thinner. All right, so let me put that into perspective. Uh, keep in mind, like, if you have a dimension, it's usually going to be half an inch off. So a two by four by eight would be one and a half inches by three and a half inches by eight. They still keep the length the same. But according to my dad, they actually used to have the exact dimensions. They, actually, they used to sell it like that back in the old days. Two by four by eights were two by four by eights. But in order to save costs, they cut it down and, I mean, <laughs> there earlier. And technically, I mean, it still rounds to two by four by eight. So that's what's happened and that's why wood is smaller, but also more, more expensive. Anyway, these are the new garden box, the, not, not new, but uh, innovated or upcycled, not, but these, these innovated garden boxes, as you can see, we've replaced these old, weak, rotting um, half planks with new, thick, pine planks. All right, so as we mentioned earlier, uh, I was talking about using two, uh, making two boxes because, as you can see here, my dad, in order to make it a bit easier on his work, actually decided to utilize a whole plank and just made these small cutouts in the middle and just connected two boxes together. And like I said earlier, this will total cost you about $50. And because we're using pressure treated wood, it should last us around 25 years, hopefully. Now, talking about these garden boxes themselves, they're actually pretty sentimental to my mom and my dad because my, my mom's older sister, um, my aunt, uh, I, we used to call her, we, we called her Motlung. She, she really liked these garden boxes. When we made a video on them five years ago, when we posted them on Facebook, she, she really liked them. She, she left a comment and she really enjoyed them. So my dad took it upon himself to make sure that these garden boxes were maintained because she really liked them. So my dad wanted to maintain this, this, these garden boxes in her memory. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us, but we just wanted to make sure that these are kept up to date and strong uh, because every time we come back to come to the backyard, we see these and we say a little prayer, you know, in her memory. And then we continue on for a day. So with that being said, it's the end of the video. As you can see behind me, my mom's garden has gone through quite a transformation. A lot of the plants are grown and there's a lot of, a lot that's changed from last year. As you can see in the background, for example, our trellises are stained and they're put in their places in the garden bed. So Go check out our videos that we'll be doing on the transformation of my mom's garden. I've actually been doing them weekly, so go check them out. And I'll see you there. But for now, I'm Aiman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at our videos on I and Aiman, especially the weekly gardening updates and some of, some of the other how-to videos. Uh, for example, I've done many videos on actually building the trellis. So go check that out, and I'll see you there. But for now, I'm Aiman, that's Aurelia. And signing out. Peace.